Okay, before I say anything, I'm gonna say this. Freedom, they actually did help me quite a bit. The videos they make are really useful for small channels to improve their channels, uh, to get some more subscribers and views. There's some really helpful tips on their channel. But having said that, you don't actually need to be a Freedom partner to be able to watch those videos. They're just for anyone. But overall, they did they did really help me improve my channel. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna say why I left Freedom. So as I said, I've been with I was with Freedom for about nine months, and in that time, they paid me in full about twice. From having spoken to some other Freedom partners, uh, they really don't seem to pay you what what they owe you. And in fact, they owe me more than they've ever paid me before. I don't know what's going on there. I wouldn't say it's intentional, maybe it's some glitch or something, but you would have thought after nine months they would have fixed it. So they still owe me a lot more than they've ever paid me. But to be honest, if you're a small channel, money isn't really important because you don't really get that much in the first place. But it's just the fact that I worked really hard for those views. Um, as if you have a small channel, you probably know how hard it is to get views. And just the fact that they are keeping the money that I made on those videos is is really disheartening. While we're on money, uh, I'm going to talk about CPM. That's the amount of money you get per thousand videos. Per thousand video views, sorry. Now, a lot of people have been reporting that their CPM is really, really low. Like, it's even lower than not having a partnership with anyone. If you just have a partnership with YouTube, the standard one that everyone has, you probably get a higher CPM than if you join Freedom. But then again, if you have gaming videos, a lot of the time you're not allowed to monetize those videos. So you wouldn't even have a CPM in the first place if you're just making gaming videos. But still, their CPM is really, really low. Now going away from money, because that's not really that important to be honest, I'm going to talk about Freedom's reputation and how it's changed from what the time I joined to, well, now. Basically when I joined it, I didn't really know that much about it. But it didn't have a bad reputation, it just didn't have much of a reputation at all. Because it was still really small, uh, people really didn't know it that well. But now they've been up for, I think they've been, they've been a network for over a year now. I think it was like October 2013, something like that, that they started. So they have been up for quite some time and now they have a reputation. So they have this feature, which is really good. Basically what it does is, if you're a Freedom Partner, you get a link. And if anyone joins Freedom with that link, you get 15% of their revenue share without affecting what they get overall. So you get 15% of the cut from their views from Freedom, not from the channel, which is really good. Um, so I used to put that link in my description. Maybe some of you joined Freedom through that. And basically I thought that was a really good feature and it encouraged people to make their friends join Freedom. Now I thought it was great until I started looking at who's been partnering to freedom through my link and most of them most of the channels were pretty good channels they were they were really like mine they uploaded regularly um, they really enjoyed what they did they were just normal channels which was great but then looking down the list there were a few channels that have like uploaded one video about two years ago and they make no effort at making videos they make no effort at replying to comments or anything they just made one or two videos ages ago and now they're partnered with Freedom. And that that was really disheartening as well. Just to see that I'm in the same class as someone that, that's made one or two videos and that doesn't even care about YouTube. So it just seemed like they're partnering just about anyone just so they make more money. And that was really annoying because that's not why I joined Freedom. I joined Freedom because it seemed like it gave you freedom. It's in the name. I didn't know it was about just making money and that's what it seemed like after being with them for a while. Now another thing I'll say about their reputation, I don't know who, if you guys know who Shoe Nice is. Basically, it's this guy that eats dog shit and glue and you name it, he eats it and records it and uploads it for views. And not, not just that, um, he is a known scam artist, like he puts out email scams, he has so many scams going on, he'll like email all his viewers saying he's he's lost in a different country and lost his wallet and he, he just needs like $200 from PayPal and he'll pay you back. Of course he never pays people back, he just steals their money and I don't know why people are stupid enough to fall for it. But anyway, he is a known scam artist. Now what Freedom did was they, they actually partnered him and they made him appear on their main channel to give advice to people on how to get views. 
I don't know why you would let someone like that onto your channel, but anyway, they did. And that's what happened. He just told people to spam comments and to spam subscriptions that they don't even use. Like, to subscribe to channels that they don't even watch. Just so that they might subscribe back to them and leave comments everywhere. Even when you haven't watched the video or watched the person that's uploading the video. It's basically telling people to spam on small channels to get more views. Which is, how can you, I don't understand how you can let that go out to the freedom community. Just to encourage people to spam, spam, spam on small channels. Now, of course, after a while, this retard guy, the scam artist, tried to scam Freedom. And he said that um, he's going to delete all of his videos unless Freedom pays him a certain amount of money. I, I can't remember what happened with that, but they just got what they deserved. Like, you let a scam artist give advice to all your followers to all your partners, and he tells people to s just spam small channels. What did they expect? So that, reputation-wise, that, that, was, that was probably the worst thing they ever did. Anyway, the thing that finally led me to leave Freedom, well, it's quite a long story, I'll try and cut it short. Basically, I had a project um, that I wanted to run, and I asked Freedom, like I emailed them, because they always encourage you if you have a project, to get into contact with them and um, they see if you, they can help you to give you any advice, anything like that. So I put my uh, my plan for the project, I put it in writing and I emailed it to them and asked them if they had any advice for me or if they could help me out or like give it some publicity or anything. And I waited for about three weeks, I had no response. So I sent them another email saying, look, I know you guys are really busy and this might be annoying, but um, I just need a little bit of feedback, like anything, to let me know that you've actually read it. And again, I got no response. And it was around that time where they changed their ticket system. So before that, you just used to email them, but then they changed it so you have to go on a website and you have to put in your details and um, your message and then they get back to you with a like number or something like that. Anyway, so I re-put my original email onto that and emailed it to them, thinking that maybe, because they were changing systems, maybe my email got lost and that's why they haven't contacted me in like one or two months. And what I got back was someone saying, someone's already dealt with this, can you please stop emailing us? Uh, and it was said in a really rude way, so that, uh, I don't I didn't really know, like, it was, it was just unnecessarily rude of them to say that. So I emailed back saying, look, I did post this about maybe two, three months ago, but no one, no one responded. I've had no response. No one's dealt with it. No one's even told me that it's a bad idea or that they're not going to do anything to help me. Like, at the least, they could at least reject me. But no, they didn't even acknowledge that. All they said was, okay, can you just stop emailing us? Someone will probably deal with it. And so I waited about another month. And nothing happened, nothing at all. So after that, I just got kind of pissed off. So I went onto the Freedom YouTube channel and I put in the comments, um, I wish Freedom answered their emails. And of course, because it was in public, someone instantly responded. It was Anthony? Anthony? Is that how you say it? Anthony or Anthony? Anyway, he responded to me uh, straight away, which was really good. Um, but it was probably just because it was in the public eye. He was saying, oh, what's the issue? And I told him, oh, I put a project through. I put a project that I wanted to do um, in the ticket system and I emailed Freedom Support and no one's responded to me. And he was actually really nice about it. He said, okay, this sort of thing usually gets like thrown about in the office because no one knows how to deal with it. Um, I'll personally take a look at it. So I was like, okay, um, that, was, that was really nice of him. But of course, he didn't do anything. Like, I, I still... It's been so many months now, I've had no response from them. Even after the after Anthony told me that. So it seemed to me like he was just doing it because it was in the public eye now. And they still, still didn't email me back. Didn't give me any response at all. Which was really disheartening and it felt like they were just trying to shut me up. So being ignored so long was the final straw when I left Freedom. But besides that, it just felt like... It just felt like they were encouraging spamming on their on their videos. They were encouraging people to spam comments just to get more views. And there was just a lot of stuff. Um, this video is already pretty long. If you ask me um, in the comments, I'll probably tell you. But I think I'm going to end it here. 